The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is trying to put some satellite tracking units on golden eagle nestlings. And those units going on nestlings will allow us to not only see where the birds go and what kind of habitats they use when they fledge and leave the nest, but it will also allow us to see how long they stay in those habitats during what times of the year. So we get to the nest site, um, I repel into the nest, put the chicks in, if there's one chick or two, I put, I put each, each chick in a bag raise the chick to the surface or sometimes we lower the chick to the ground as well whatever is the best situation for processing the bird and once the chick is either up or down from the nest uh, the bird usually gets a band it gets some standard measurements taken and then we put the satellite tracking unit on the biggest bird in the nest and the reason we do that is because it's just a little easier to to be confident in the fit on an older and larger bird and the fit of that that satellite unit is really very important which is why we had Mark Bechard come out and do it so here's the unit, has a magnet on it to keep it off, so I've just turned it on, so it's transmitting now. Solar panel, it's all solar powered. Okay, I'm going to cut a little leather patch that I, I use, it uh, goes across the belly of the bird. So that holds it firmly up against the top of the bird's back. And then we're going to cross these over underneath and they'll come up under and attach at the back of the radio. So you'll see how that happens. Okay, Junior. Coming over. And then we just slide this copper crimp up over that sewing and uh, crimp it down. Yeah. <laughs> Such a nice bird. I repel back down into the nest, they lower the birds to me in the bags. And usually after being handled by people, they're a little bit more used to people. So they're a little less scared when you get them out of the bag and put them back in the nest. So I was able to get the birds back into the nest safely um, and then um, climb back up and out of there. And hopefully they're still there right now and, and, uh, and doing fine.